Sometimes when you stare at the universe, the universe stares back at you. Welcome to SETI Astro. This object has been on my bucket list for a while now. It's Wolf Riot 134. There are a lot of nearby items that a, a lot of people image. There's the Crescent Nebula and the Tulip on the, the left and right side of this particular object. Uh, but you don't see many images of it. And the more oxygen data I started taking, uh, the, the, the more the eye just manifested itself. So I ended up taking 52 hours and 45 minutes of exposure, uh, 16 hours in hydrogen. Here's my hydrogen channel. You can just see there's just nebulosity all throughout and some amazing little tadpole guys. And you can see some of the structure of the eye there. In oxygen, I had 115 minute exposures. So uh, 25 hours just in oxygen and the detail of the eye is just is just amazing. There's all this structure getting blown away from that central wolf riot star, including the, the, the bow shocks as it's moving through the, the medium. And then for sulfur, I had 45 15 minute exposures. I would have taken more, uh, but ran out of cloudless nights. Uh, what I find interesting in sulfur is there's this bow shock below where the eye is in the middle here, uh, which I don't think it's talked about much. This is a, a bow shock in sulfur, which you don't see very often. So I, I, I thought that was very interesting too. As for palette, I couldn't land on a decision right away. I ended up making four different SHO palettes and finding pluses and minuses to every single one of them. Uh, some of them are in 4X, some in a more traditional uh, color space, some had better uh, narrow band color, other ones had more blues. I just couldn't decide. So I ended up uh, just, just averaging them all together and hoping for the best and averaging them all together and uh, tweaking some saturations and contrast. This is this is where I ended up. I think it is a, a gorgeous image. There's tons of dark structure pillars. We have the, the central eye. There's wisps of oxygen off to the left. And down below we have the strong red from the, the sulfur, including that bow shock and some very dark nebula uh, throughout as well. For the stars, you better believe I used my narrowband RGB star script. I thought it did a wonderful job with uh, star color and uh, stretching and, and making the, the stars just beautiful. This field is just dense, very dense with stars. Combining everything together, uh, the stars and the starless really reveals a lot of the the gorgeous structure throughout the entire thing from these tadpoles that are kind of off to the the right of the image there into the core of the eye what i find really interesting besides the the gorgeous blue getting blown away there's this little bit of orange here and that's actually a planetary nebula candidate uh, mule four and uh, that that was really cool to see inside there there's also just a, an immense amount of molecular cloud structures. Again, that, that sulfur bow arc. And then down here um, is actually reflection nebula that doesn't seem to be cataloged. This is an emission line star. It's emission line LS23567. Uh, but, and it's more easily seen uh, in, the, in the star list. Being a narrow band image, the reflection isn't nearly as prominent. Uh, 
I would like to see some great RGB images of this particular area here. I bet there's uh, some beautiful reflection in it. And you can see in the Sinbad catalog, uh, here is that particular star and you can see the reflection around it. But when you do do the query, uh, nothing's listed. So it does seem to be unlisted uh, reflection nebula. I have updated Astrobin with my Wolfright 134, When the Universe Stares Back at You. It has the starry and starless versions. I have also uploaded an annotated version. I have the acquisition details, location in the sky, and some write-ups on uh, some of just these various cool objects that I thought were interesting within the image itself. I have also updated my website, SETIastro.com, with Wolf Riot 134, uh, including mouse over zoomable images, close in crops, link back to Astro Bin. I have also made the full resolutions uh, available just by clicking on any of the any of the main images. If you like the content and the scripts that I put out and want to become a member on my YouTube channel, I highly recommend that. Please comment, like, and subscribe.